I'm Elizabeth Sandalot, first vice president of the Atlanta Artist Center, based in iconic Buckhead. And I'm here at Colony Square with our once a year annual board of directors show. And I'm going to share with you the artwork of our nine board members. And so you can see we are in partnership with Colony Square, and Colony Square has been kind enough to offer this magnificent space, and it is magnificent for us to show our artwork. Um, Atlanta Artist Center AAC is a nonprofit 501c3, and we offer exceptional opportunities for visual artists in our workshops and in our art exhibits. And these outreach opportunities are available to the community as well as to the Atlanta area and surrounding locations. First artist that I want to begin with is our Atlanta Artist Center president, whose name is Art McNaughton. And Mr. McNaughton is originally from Chicago. He describes himself in the blue collar side of town. His father was a mason, particularly a tuck pointer, and used to apprentice with his dad when he was young and also in high school. He loved the beautiful stony brickwork of Chicago. And of course, moving to Atlanta, he was equally taken by our architecture. Do you know this particular iconic restaurant? This painting is called Sunset at 61 North. It's painted in a realistic style in oil. And if you know the bar city, you've ever visited this wonderful restaurant, it's named for its hot dogs, hamburgers, onion rings, and all the great other items on the menu. We hope you come and visit. Art also created a series working with the Coca Cola bottle. And if you know anything about Atlanta, Georgia, you know that it's home base to the wonderful Coca Cola company. Our next artist is Janet Suarez. Janet serves as our second vice president. And here you can see her wonderful colors and abstract design. Janet has a Master of Fine Arts and is currently teaching at Kennesaw State University. Here she's exploring in this oil painting the wonderful colors and layers. You can see this layer. It's title starting to see. Do you see eyes in it? Do you think starting to see is from the viewer? How the viewer sees the painting? Or do you think it's how Janet sees the painting and works with it? This artist is Mariah Roberts. We affectionately call her Mimi. And she has served, she currently serves as our, as our recording secretary, but is also serving as vice president. And she grew up in Indiana, lots and lots of farm animals. But the painting that I want to introduce you today is called Pear Perfection. You know, we've seen Mimi paint lots of very traditional pears, but here she's exploring abstract design, sharpness of color. It's very warm. Is this a painting you'd like to have in your home? Our next artist here in the green room, we love this green room because all the paintings just pop on this green wall. Uh, we're featuring Carol Dew, who is our volunteer coordinator. Now, whether you're 501c3 like we are, or corporate, you know how important volunteers are to your organization. Carol describes herself as very fortunate to have lived in Europe and traveled quite extensively in Europe. This one, being our feature, is called Window in Spain. Carol says she was exceptionally intrigued by the sun of yellow of the wall in the cool tones. She found this on a back road, back alley in Central Spain. Is this a place you'd like to visit? Next artist I'd like to feature is David Baranti. David is two-time past president of the Atlanta Artist Center. And this series of four paintings is called The Four Seasons. Now he describes our earth is having traveled around the sun once, of course, in 365 days, but it's traveled 300 times since Antonio Vivaldi created the magnificent violin concertos, The Four Seasons. These paintings are a love letter to all that ride our planet. David is an Emmy award-winning visual artist. He serves as artist in residence for Steinway Piano Gallery in Alpharetta, Georgia and he's taught hundreds of artists. He's a nationally known art instructor, high atop a 
Mountain Studio in Cloud Cove, New Mexico for the past 20 years. So the painting in the series that I would like to feature is the autumn painting. Here we have the French horn together with the beautiful color of autumn and the crunchy leaves. How does the sound of the French horn and the crunchy leaves feel to you? Is that an environment you'd like to spend some time in? Next, I'm going to share with you artist Evelyn Bright. Now, Evelyn Bright serves as our treasurer and was also past president of the Atlanta Artist Center. Originally from New York City, she gained a BFA in art from State University of New York. Evelyn is an award winning artist known for her figurative pastel work. But here, she's completely changed her direction. She's exploring abstract design. She's very interested in texture, color, and movement, and the spontaneity of this type of work. Here, we're featuring a loft with the movement of the black birds. What experiences have you had in life with birds moving in your area? Is it at the beach? Is it at your home? Is it out in the field? Okay, and our next artist is Shelton Hunt. And Shelton serves as our membership chair. And as for volunteers, membership is extremely important. It helps us find the importance of each one of the city. And in this particular series of works, he's exploring digitally manipulated photography. These three painting pieces of photography came from his jazz series. And the one I want to feature is called T Bird from his uh, what he calls muscle car series. This is probably actually known as classic car, but anyway, um, it's lovely, it's a lot of fun, and all of these things are joyous. Now, if you ask Shelton to describe himself, he will tell you he's a folk artist. And he says, I make things out of things, and he's particularly interested in using relief wood card. This group of three works belong to me. Again, I'm Elizabeth Sandalot, first vice president of the Old Artist Center. And I wanted to feature travel in places that I've been to. Venice, Italy, the western side of the United States, and the favorite one that I want to feature is Lincoln, New York. These are watercolors, pen and ink and watercolor on paper. And here I got a chance to visit uh, a Broadway show, eat in a fine restaurant, and share some champagne. Again, New York weekends, you never forget it. And the final art artist that I want to end this presentation with is Catherine Moore. Catherine is a regional, national, and internationally recognized artist, and she serves as a parliamentarian. Here, Catherine uses a realistic style with colored pencil. And the piece I want to feature is at the feeder. You can see the beautiful, intense yellow flowers, the woodpecker, the suet, on this dark surface. Now, this is not black paper. This is actually a black that she's creating with colored pencil. If you've ever taken a colored pencil course, it's entirely different from what you do as a child. So, thank you so much. We just want to thank everyone for coming to visit the Atlanta Artist Center. We hope you'll enjoy our show. It's up until the 27th of October. And we want to thank Colony Square who has an incredible space for us, and we appreciate their kindness. And Colony Square is known as the very first multi-use retail store location in Atlanta. So you hope that you will come and visit and enjoy some fun activities at Colony Square. Thank you so much.